Hi guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Donna, Face Paints For You and I always do videos on everything to do with face painting. Today I'm back with this blue ninja turtle design, so if you'd like to see how I do this, please keep watching. But before we get started really quickly, I just wanted to let you know that there are four Ninja Turtles all together. There's Leonardo, he's the blue one. There's Donatello and he's the purple one. Then there's Raphael, he's the red one. And finally there's Michelangelo, he's the orange one. But of course, I've had a request before to have a pink one. So it absolutely depends on the child really. But just thought I would let you know. A quick massive thank you to Holly for being my model again today so thank you so much okay so let's get started I start off by loading my one stroke flat brush from the face painting shop and I load it up with a fun stroke from global called Iceland it's white baby blue dark blue and I start by doing a mask shape around the eyes then with the lighter side of my brush I fill in the eye area but if I do have a younger child I wouldn't usually do this I wouldn't fill in the eye area I would just normally leave that area clear um, so I would probably use a three-quarter inch instead so it leaves a little bit more space between the paint and the eyes and as you will see you notice me going over the mask quite a few times and that's just because I like the colors to be nice and blended I didn't really want you know a white baby blue dark blue showing so I wanted it to be a nice soft smooth transition between the colors Then I do quickly spritz some glitter before the paint dries. Then I load my one inch angled brush from the face painting shop and I load it with a fun stroke from Global called Borneo and it's yellow, lime, green deep and black but I do try my best not to pick up too much of the black um, as I feel as if it comes far too dark if not. Then I go to the center of the forehead and do a bit of an arch shape and I do this uh, slightly further up than the mask so I have enough space to do two smaller arches but a lot thinner and longer going around the top of the mask area on both sides. And now you will see that I slow down the video so you can hopefully manage to see how I hold my brush and the way I actually do the brush strokes. So hopefully by me slowing the video down and going over my brush strokes again, uh, you have managed to see how I achieve this. And of course, the only reason why I go over my brush strokes again is just to get the colours to blend nicely together. And here, as you can see, I have slowed the video down again for you as I do the two smaller arches under the eye area of the masks. And if you can, try and do these slightly smaller and thinner. So hopefully by sewing it down, you will have been able to see that towards the end of the arch, I lift the back of the lighter side of the brush up and only keep the darker side, so the toe of my brush, to finish it off. So I really hope you manage to understand how I do this then all of a sudden I realize I completely forgot to do the knot on the side of the mask so I go back to the same brush I used initially to do the mask and the same fun stroke and I do a small circle with two pieces of the mask hanging down so it's like as if the mask has been tied on the side of the face then I get a bit of glitter and spritz it over 
the full design before the paint dries. Then, to give it more of a turtle skin effect, or of a scale kind of effect, I get my stencil out and a dauber and get some light green or lime colour. Unfortunately, a friend of mine made this stencil for me, uh, but any type of stencil with some sort of scale effect uh, pattern on it would be absolutely fine. Then I load my low Cornell round brush number 3 with my black diamond effects and I start by outlining the knot and then to make it look a bit more like a knot I do a curly line in the middle then I outline the two pieces coming out of the knot and put some thick to thin lines coming down Then I start to outline the mask, always remembering to use thin to thick to thin lines. Then by using the same brush and the same technique, I outline the rest of the design. Now this is completely optional of course, but the mask just seemed a bit plain and a bit empty to me. So you'll see me put some sort of stitches um, inside the mask area and that would represent like the mask being old and used and maybe they've been fighting the bad guys so it's got ripped or torn so it's been stitched back up and then you will see me paint some creases coming out from the inner corners of the eyes and I do that just by putting a few wispy curved lines coming out from the inner corners so some are curved upwards and some are curved down and for the stitches all I did is a long line with a few little lines going across that line the opposite way Now here you will see me put two curved lines on top of the eyes inside the mask and two under the eyes and that's just to represent some creases. Now here you will see me grab my other low Cornell round brush number three and I load it up with my white diamond effects and all I do here is a put a few highlights around the design where I think is needed and when doing highlights I always do thick to thin lines now at the beginning of this video I showed you two photos of Holly with the Ninja Turtle design but did you notice that on one of the photos the design was actually slightly different? If you did, well done, you must have a very good eye for detail because on one of the designs there was the nose that was included. So if you'd like to see how I add the nose to this design, please keep watching. Okay, so here I grab my one inch angled brush and I load it up with my fun stroke Borneo and I lay my brush down flat on the side of the nose and I go round the natural shape of the nostril and I do the same on the other side and on the tip of the nose all I do is curve it down slightly so it's like I've got three bumps then I quickly grab my low Cornell round brush number three, load it with black diamond effects and give it a quick outline. But as I always say, if you use your one strokes with the darker side on the outer edges, and especially if you've got a long queue or you haven't got time, I wouldn't outline it. 
Okay, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. And if you have, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And in the comments below, please let me know what kind of video or design you would like me to do next. And if you're new to this channel, why not join this amazing face painting family by subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos. Thanks for watching guys. See you on my next video. Bye.